Hello, Griffith Junior Senior High. Hope you guys are having a great day. We are getting ready for school, right? The purpose of this expectation is the first week of school. What are the expectations? What's going on in school that week? You're about to find out. It's gonna be a little longer video, I apologize, but we're gonna make it happen. Hi, Mr. Mick, I'm your principal here at Griffith Junior Senior High. Here's what we have. Monday, which is the 8th of August, um, in the evening time, sixth grade orientation. Doors open at five. At 5.30, we're gonna have a parent meeting to welcome all the sixth graders to the junior senior high. Uh, so make sure that sixth grade parents, you are there at 5.30. Uh, you will have, when we're done, you'll have till about 6.45 to kind of wander around the building, find your classes. Um, you can do a little bit of that beforehand, but the main thing is at 5.30, we are gonna have that family and student sixth grade meeting in the auditorium. Uh, we wanted to do this differently than we did last year because we wanted to put a little focus on, on you guys and allow you had to have the building yourself where you don't have a whole bunch of people in there. Uh, on Tuesday from 12.30 to 6.30, I believe, yes, till 6.30 um, is a seventh through 12th grade and that's an open house. Come, come freely as you want. Um, sixth graders, we have that parent meeting at 5 30 7 through 12 it's open come whenever you want uh during both of these open house orientations uh you will get your schedule all right so that is awesome you'll get your lock um with our locks this year a little bit change that we have you're going to keep your lock the plan is that you're going to keep it through your whole high school career you'll take it home with you over summer and bring it back all right so so you'll get that lock um, you'll may memorize the combination one time, you have it through your whole career. So that's another little change that we are making. You'll have uh, all of your counselors there, all the admin um, will have different supports, athletics, um, anybody that you would need, some clubs will be there. Um, so you can get some information on that. Uh, so that's how that um, orientation open house is going to work on Monday and Tuesday. Now we roll into scroll up here we roll into the first day with students which is wednesday the 10th um, a reminder that on the east side of the building which is a football field side that is for buses only there will be no drop-offs at door c that's what door they come in that is for buses only there should be no traffic um, in our parking lot um, except for our staff that's come coming in so be aware of that all the drop-offs should be on the other side by the baseball field. That is for all the car riders, all the drop-offs. We'll keep that line moving as fast as we can. Uh, a reminder, it's great if five, six, seven cars can drop all at once and let the whole line move, right? It gets very slow when it's one car and one car and one car. So uh, when you pull up there, you'll probably see me out there, you know, waving you out, get out quickly. Um, five, six, seven, eight cars at a time, the line will move very fast. Um, what else do we have? So that first day of school, the very first thing is you're gonna get a video of expectations from me. Um, and one of the, we have a couple big changes that are happening. One of those is the cell phone policy. Um, and I wanna make sure everyone's aware of this. We pushed out a notification last night. Uh, there'll be another one going out Sunday and going out Tuesday. So here it is, okay? Students, your phone needs to be in your locker or at home, not on you, not in your pocket or anything else like that, okay? If you have your phone on you, if you bring it out during class, all right? The first violation is this, we're gonna ask you for your phone. We expect you to reply with respect and hand it over or head down to the office, whatever direction you get from your teacher. Um, parents, family members, you will have to pick that phone up all right, we're not giving it back to the students. Students, you will receive, will receive a Friday school. That's for the first time, and that starts right when you walk in the building. So that's why we're pushing all this information out. Second time, same thing. We expect you to be respectful, hand over the phone. Parents, you have to pick it up. You get a Saturday school. Third time, third, fourth, and fifth, we start suspension. Same procedure. We actually hand it over. Three days, five days, possible expulsion by the fifth time. All right, the kicker behind all this, students, we expect you to be respectful. Students, you are students, we are the adults, right? There's that professional line there. We expect you to listen to all adults in the building. If an adult sees you with your phone, asks you for the phone, we expect you to say, okay, because you guys know the rules. 
All right, so make sure that we are aware of that. That will go out um, many more times. You'll have an opportunity to see those rules as we go. Um, what else do we have that first day? Uh, again, that expectation of that dress code. Let's talk about that real quick. Um, everyone needs to be in dress code. No holes in your jeans. I know it's warm right now. You can have leggings underneath your jeans. Everything has to be below your fingertips, right? If you are wearing shorts, um, no um, shoulders, anything like that showing, you need to have t-shirt um, or shoulders covered. Um, and then also, you know, boys, make sure our pants are pulled up, right? We don't want any sagging pad pants. Girls, watch those crop tops, all right? You can't be even with your belt. It has to be covering your belt okay, or your waist. So be aware of that, all right? Very important. Um, again, those are non-negotiables this year, that phone and that dress code. Uh, we move into Thursday, which is the 11th. We are gonna meet with every single student in the building. We have time set up for you to come down to the auditorium. We're gonna go through our expectations for the school year. Parents, I ask that you, family members, I ask that you talk to them. What did you hear? What did we have to say? right? Um, have that good conversation um, with, with the students. And then Friday, Friday is picture day. So be aware of that at the open house orientations, there will be picture forms. When you register, there is picture forms. Uh, make sure you guys are aware of that. Um, also something I forgot, when you um, do come in for um, open house orientation, you will get your ID. IDs must be worn at all time. And here's the main point behind them. They have a barcode on them. We're gonna use that barcode for lunch in order to eat, which by the way, there's no more free lunches. Okay, the state has taken that away. Um, in order for you guys to eat, you're gonna to have to have that ID. You're gonna to have to swipe your barcode. Okay, so be aware of that. The IDs have become very important and valuable to you throughout the school year. And you'll pick that up uh, when you're here on Tuesday, Monday and Tuesday. Um, what else do I have? Making sure um, if you have any medication to bring into the school, you can bring it during the or orientation open house times. Be aware of that. Um, you will get your schedules. You know, just a reminder with your schedule. Um, we don't change schedules because of friends. You know, if you have a major issue with your schedule, like you have two of the same classes, um, maybe you took the class already, don't need to take it again something like that, then yes, we will make that accommodation. But besides that, you know, we're not making in any schedule changes. So be aware of that. I think we're pretty good. And just, I guess the last reminder is, you know, last year we were on block, right? We had 85 minute classes. This year we're going to 45 minute classes. Families, you know, your students is going to see every single teacher every single day. All right, so that we do have that change, 45 minute classes. So just be aware of that. Um, I think we're excited. I think that's the last thing I want to tell you guys. We're very excited. We worked very hard here the last two, three weeks to prepare for this moment right here. Um, and we're ready to enter the, the students back into the building. Um, we hired an amazing team uh, of teachers and staff that has come in. We're really super excited. More to come from them, a little foreshadowing. Um, but no, students, we can't wait to see you. So I'll be at that door ready to give you, give you a little fist bump when you guys walk in. So enjoy the weekend. Have a great day. Take care.